Hello and welcome back. This is Raga Sandal. Thanks for joining me and I hope your week is off to a good start. Today I am sharing my card inspirations with you featuring Varda Sharma's March release You Are Stronger digital stamp sets. These floral stamp designs are perfect for a range of occasions from birthdays to sympathy cards. I have linked up all the product details that I used here in the description box below. Kindly check it out. For my first card, I paired Flowers for My Friends stamp set with You Are Stronger Portrait Scripted Background stamp set. This inlay die cutting technique gives a nice zoom in effect and dimension to the focal image. For my second card, I paired Climbing Rose Bouquet stamp set with a same scripted background stamp set. The digitally created rectangle black frame helps to crown the floral bouquet and to pop out the focal image strong. For my third card, I used the Pretty Little Tulips stamp set. The gradient strip on the right, a brief shadow for the depth, the bold scripted sentiment and some ink splatters all together perfectly balance this fun layer card. My fourth card is a fun fold cascading card for which I use Daisies and Bleeding Heart stamp set for the focal image and the same scripted background stamp set for the base. This cascading card looks complicated and there is a bit of learning curve but easy peasy once you have the measurements. It has two interlocking panels which can spring apart and also collapse to fold flat just like a regular size card. As I love a clean and simple look, I'm not so generous adding up more flowers. You can add more flowers if you wish to. I warn you, this interactive card is pretty addictive. So without further ado, let's dive into the video to learn how to make this fun fold cascading card. Let's start by coloring the daisies. Instead of thinking about the classic lawn daisies with long white petals surrounding a bright yellow center, I think to give bicolor tone of bright golden yellow and orange to the petals with darker chocolate brown centers. So I underpaint the petals with warm gray to achieve vibrant color values. This underpainting technique helps to ground your image with a powerful value structure. I'm pretty sure you will be amazed at the end results.
Doesn't the golden yellow daisies look great popping against the green foliage? I fussy cut the images and now they are ready to go on to my car. Next to prepare the base, I used UR Stronger scripted background and took print out on both sides of a white cardstock of dimension 8x12 inches. I'm also sharing a template for this card base on my blog post and linking it in the description box below for your reference and use. Kindly check it out. Keeping the shorter side of your cardstock on your cutting mat and mark it 5.5 inches. Now turn your cardstock 180 degrees and repeat the same step. Then follow the pencil markings to cut the cardstock into two pieces as you see on the screen. Now we have two similar pieces of dimension 5.5 by 12 inches. The taller side measures 5.5 inches and the shorter side measures 2.5 inches. Next we need to locate the midline on both the panels just for a reference to make slots on them. For that you need to mark it 2 and 3 quarter inches on the taller side and 1 and a quarter inches on the shorter side. Just make the markings very light to erase them later. Repeat the same process on your second panel as well. Next, make two score lines on your first panel at 4 inches and 8 inches respectively. Then to make the slots, score at 2 inches and 10 inches from the center line to the bottom down. Next, mark at 6 inches from the top down to the center line. I do pencil markings for your better understanding on where to make the slots. Just accordion fold your panel as you see here. Now repeat the same process on your second panel except for the slots which should be the inverse of the first panel. Make two score lines, one at 4 inches and the other at 8 inches. Then mark the slots at 2 inches and 10 inches from the top down to the center line. Next, mark at 6 inches from the center line to the bottom down. Again, I do pencil markings for your better view. Now, this is how both the panels look like. Do the accordion fold on the scoring lines and cut through the pencil markings to make the slots on both the panels.
Well, now interlock the slots together from the taller end until the bottom is level. The slots slide together so nicely so that in no time you get a closed spring card base that expands and collapses at will. Once you find it working fine, it is all the pencil markings and the midlines. Let me interlock the panels one more time for you. Voila! The base is ready, which fits perfectly into an A2 size envelope. I finished the card by decorating it with daisies and by adding a sentiment frame saying, You are pretty amazing. Hope you all enjoyed watching my video. If you like it, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also hit the bell icon for more future updates. Thank you so much for stopping by. See you soon with another fun interesting project. Until then signing off Raga. Bye bye.